Hi Acorns, good morning, happy Thursday to all of you. Let's get started. I'm standing up, so why don't you stand up and join me. We are going to sing two songs to get our meeting started. We will sing the Good Morning song, and we'll sing Shake Your Sillies Out by our pal Rafi. So let's get started with our Good Morning song. I have my buddy Sal here who's ready to sing good morning to you. Good morning, George. Good morning, Desi. Good morning, Adeline. So glad you came to school. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, James. Good morning, Ellery. So glad you came to school. Good morning, Sawyer. Good morning, Louisa. Good morning, Gordon. So glad you came to school. Good morning, Millie. Good morning, Austin. Good morning, Aiden. So glad you came to school. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Claire. Good morning, Harrison. So glad you came to school. Good morning, Rhea. Good morning, Lizzie. Good morning, Eliza. So glad you came to school. Great work. Thank you, Sal. All right, friends. Remember, this is our second song. Stay standing up. Shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Wiggle my waggles away. I gotta clap, clap. Clap my crazies out, clap, clap, clap my crazies out, clap, clap, clap my crazies out, and wiggle my waggles away. I gotta jump, jump, jump my jiggles out, jump, jump, jump my jiggles out, jump, jump, jump my jiggles out, and wiggle my waggles away. I gotta yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out, yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out, yawn. Yawn, yawn, my sleepies out and wiggle my waggles on the way. I gotta shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out and wiggle my waggles out way. And wiggle my waggles out way. Great work, Acorns. Awesome job. Now, you may sit down. Crisscross applesauce, and we can get our meeting started. Whew! That was a lot of dancing and a lot of singing, friends. That was so much fun. Let's take a look outside and do a quick weather report. I am seeing lots of sun and blue skies. I don't see a lot of clouds today. It looks like it's going to be a sunny day, and I'm excited about that. Maybe a good day to... Get outside, do some scootering, and you could, maybe you want to bring some chalk outside. A lot of fun activities to do outside, friends. Let's check in and see. I will show you a couple things that I've been working on here. So when it's been raining or cold or windy, I've been doing lots of coloring. So I just finished my owl. So I've made, I've colored a frog, an owl, and a big pineapple plant. So I'll keep doing that on the days where it's not so nice out. But today is nice out, so I will be outside going for a walk, maybe going for a run. I'm excited to see what all of you decide to do outside. Friends, don't forget to check out Seesaw. We've been posting a lot of activities. Yesterday, Elizabeth posted a meeting with a book with some yoga moves, and Baird posted her movement video, and I posted an activity that has to do with mud. You can create your very own mud kitchen outside. Today would be a great day for that. It's a-okay to get messy. Now, I will read you guys a quick story and send you on your way to enjoy this beautiful day. Today's story will be The Little Red Riding Hood, one of my favorites. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived with her mom in a house on the edge of a forest. Whenever the little girl went outside to play, she wore a beautiful cape that her grandma had made especially for her. The cape was nice and warm and kept the little girl cozy on cold days. It had a big red hood, so everyone called the little girl Little Red Riding Hood. There she is. 
One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mommy asked her to take a basket of food to Grandma. Grandma isn't feeling well, Mommy said, and I'm sure she'd love to see you. Little Red Riding Hood didn't see Grandma very often because she lived on the other side of the woods. She helped Mommy draw a map on a piece of paper so she wouldn't get lost. Then she slid the map inside of a pocket in her cape. Now hurry along, said Mommy, helping Little Red Riding Hood into her, the cape. And remember, don't talk to any strangers along the way. Little Red Riding Hood took the basket of food and waved goodbye to her mommy. I won't, she said, skipping into the forest. On the way, Little Red Riding Hood saw some beautiful flowers. Grandma might like these, she thought, bending down to pick some. Little Red Riding Hood was so busy choosing flowers, she didn't realize she was no longer alone in the forest. Hello, little girl, said a deep, growly voice. Little Red Riding Hood jumped with fright. Ooh, that's a little scary. A big wolf peered out from behind one of the trees and grinned at Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, hello, replied Little Red Riding Hood, smiling back at the wolf. She'd already forgotten her mommy's warning. Where are you going? growled the wolf. I'm visiting my sick grandmother who lives on the other side of the forest, Little Red Riding Hood explained. I'm picking some pretty flowers to take with me. Ah, what a kind girl you are, smiled the wolf, showing off his razor sharp teeth. Your grandma is very lucky to have a sweet and thoughtful granddaughter. Just then, the wolf's belly gave a loud, rumbly grumble. What was that? asked Little Red Riding Hood, peering up at the wolf. Just some thunder over the hills, said the wolf, trying his best not to lick his greedy lips. Then the wolf ran as fast as he could to Grandma's house. He's running ahead. The hungry wolf peered through Grandma's window and saw the old lady in bed. With one howl, the wolf dashed through the front door, ran into the bedroom, and gobbled up Grandma in one big gulp. The wolf put on Grandma's clothes and glasses and climbed into her bed, pulling the blanket up to his chin. Now all he had to do was wait for Little Red Riding Hood. Sneaky wolf. When Little Red Riding Hood finally reached the house, the little girl was surprised to find the front door wide open. Hello! Are you there, Grandma? I'm in the bedroom, cried the wolf in a strange, wobbly voice. Oh, thought Little Red Riding Hood. Grandma doesn't sound so good. She must be very sick. Little Red Riding Hood went into the bedroom and gasped in surprise when she saw her grandma. She looked a little different. Hmm. Wonder why. Little Red Riding Hood hoped whatever it was that Grandma had it wasn't catching. My, what big guys you've got, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better for seeing you with, my dear, said the wolf. And what big ears you've got, Grandma, Little Red Riding Hood added, moving closer. All the better for hearing you with, my dear, said the wolf. Ma, 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 what big teeth you've got, Grandma, stuttered Little Red Riding Hood in a shaky voice. All the better for eating you with. <gasps> That's scary. The Little Red Riding Hood screamed and tried to run away, but it was no good. The hungry wolf was too fast. He leaped out of bed and gobbled her up in one big gulp. A passing lumberjack heard Little Red Riding Hood scream and ran to the house. When he saw the wolf's big belly, he guessed what had happened. He picked the wolf and shook him as hard as he could. The wolf's mouth opened up and out flew Little Red Riding Hood and her grandma. Grandma and Little Red Riding Hood weren't hurt, but they were very angry. They came tumbling out. Grandma chased the wolf out of the bedroom, through the cottage, into the forest, and over the hill. The lumberjack and Little Red Riding Hood followed closely behind. Soon the wolf was gone forever. And Little Red Riding Hood never spoke to strangers again. The end. Thank you so much for listening, Acorns. I'm excited to see our Monday, Wednesday, Friday Acorns at tomorrow's Zoom meeting. 
and to see some friends in our small group meetings later today. Bye, everybody.